Hey folks, uh, we have a 26 disc challenge coming up. Uh, we have more fair representation here. Um, I'm not sure I got a Thunderbird, but um, I should go back and get it because I did so well with the Thunderbird. Uh, but we've got a lot of different things. Now we've got some of the, uh, the Mambas and other things that uh, should be on the list here. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll get the Thunderbird because it is the defending champion and I'll pull that out. And uh, we'll get into this 27 disc challenge and we're gonna do it once. That's all I have time for. So this ought to be interesting. We've got a lot of powerful discs here. Stand by. Hey folks, the defending uh, 156 Thunderbird uh, that won the last round with 17 discs is represented. It will come up about halfway through the stack. We are gonna begin. I am going for all the marbles um, this is a Colossus. It is champion plastic, uh, which means you can see through it. It's a little different. And uh, we are going to, uh, these, I don't do these very well for whatever the reason. This one is extremely heavy. It must be a 175. Uh, these are hard to throw, no matter, there are quite a few of them in here of different sorts, including some non innova discs. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, away we go. And uh, here we go. So let me hang my uh, glasses so they don't get crushed. And uh, folks, we do have a uh, we do have a little bit of a uh, wind with us. So it's probably around uh, I don't know five, four to six mile an hour wind, uh, and it's uh, just a little gusty. It's not constantly doing it. Here we go. We are off. Uh, this is the last round. Then I got to go to work. Bad throw. I hope it comes down quickly because I don't want to hit a car over there. Okay, we got uh, 27 discs, and that was a very bad throw. We got a 166 ape. This ape has done big numbers over at the school. Uh, over here, it's done big numbers too. So here we go. Um, let's get into it. Sorry, folks. I tried to come over the top of that. Uh, that uh, Colossus, and I'll tell you, I have not been able to throw that Colossus very well. It is a 14-speed disc, but uh, you got me with it. I've never been able to chuck it very well. Here we go, 166.8. Uh, pretty good throw. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, it's uh, just into the uh, owls there, so um, not a great throw. It's okay. It's a good throw. Okay, we've got a 155 Thunderbird. So, uh, indeed, we had another Thunderbird in here, albeit a little bit lighter. So, uh, let's see what we got going on here. 155 Thunderbird, here we go. Uh, that's a, yeah, I over it a bit. It'll roll, and not much, than more than about a meter. So, uh, that may be the one in the lead right now. We have a 169 Valkyrie. This looks like it's used, but not much. And uh, 169 is a heavy disc. So let's get this Valkyrie on its way. Let's see who's going to take the gold here. 169 Valkyrie. Uh, over towards it and towards you, short. It's going to roll. Uh, but not much. It's an extremely poor throw, under 200 feet, I would estimate. Uh, we've got a 163 day of Dallas. Supposedly, it lets you travel with the gods uh, or throw with the gods. So here we go. I've had in recent times, I've had trouble with this disc uh, going off to the right. So I've got to uh, try to not do that this time. I've been continually doing it in the day of Dallas. I used to be able to throw it better. Here we go, 170, 163, day of Dallas. Uh, a little better. It, it is uh, over torquing a bit, but it's getting a good slice. Uh, and it's right there before the tree, which is probably around 315 feet. Uh, that will be the lead disc thus far. It's just before that tree. If you can see it, I don't know. Some of these discs will go that way, so I'm going to move the camera. Okay, this I know is a boss. It's been a while since I've thrown a boss. They some they oftentimes do take the gold 
on these. Uh, they're a great disc for distance, and the pros know all about them. So here we go. I don't know what this is. It's probably around a 155, 156 boss. Here we go. Uh, that's a pretty good throw. It's hanging up there, but it's going to go into the tree. Okay, it's uh, just short of the owls, so no cigar, but uh, probably every bit of, uh, I would say, 285 to 290 feet. Maybe 300. Uh, it'll be in the. Uh, it won't be in the running. Not at that area. 165 T Bird three, and this is a T Bird, not a Thunderbird, but a T Bird three. Here we go. And I hear the lightning thing going off from uh, yonder. So we're going to have to step it up here. Here we go. T Bird three. Oh, uh, that's a good throw. It's a little bit over torque, but it's carrying very well. Uh, and it's right over by the, what is that, the day of Dallas I threw? I forgot now, but it's right over there with it. And now this is the defending champion, the 156 Thunderbird. So let's see if we can get this done twice in a row. That would be tooting the horn of the Thunderbird, I will say that. Here we go. Uh, still a pretty good throw, but I need to get more on it. Uh, no matter, that throw is a pretty good throw. It easily went past the owls. So uh, once again, it is in the lead, but this time it's not going to be so easy getting by the other ones that I was using, which were, you know, uh, those other ones, the wombats and stuff, and the uh, sharks. Uh-uh. This is going to be the real McCoys here. These are the power hitters. 148 Ape in champion plastic. Here we go. Uh, good throw. It's going to get caught in the tree. Uh, all right, I made it through. A good throw, but uh, nothing to write home the mother about. We have a 157 boss. I have been having trouble throwing this disc. I don't know why. It keeps uh, over torquing on me, going to the right. So here we go. But I don't see it rolling too, too, too much. It is rolling effectively. Um, it's uh, it's near the competition there because of the roll. So uh, not bad. Certainly not bad. Okay. We've got a 157 Thunderbird. This one is new. It's not. Uh, it looks like it's new and not been thrown yet. So here we go. Uh, we may expect big things from the Thunderbird series. Here we go. Uh, that's a good throw. My goodness, it's going high. Uh, uh, but a little short of the tree. Uh, I don't know. That, that thing went a pretty good ways. It went off to the right. I don't know if you could see it. That's going to be in contention, although to the right. It don't matter with me. It just goes for distance. I don't care where they go. All right, this is the Shrike. This is the disc that I sent so high a couple of few days ago that I couldn't see it. It went so high in the air. It is a 150. Uh, it's a 147. And this thing, I bombed this thing a few days ago. Here we go. 147 Shrike. Yeah, it's over torquing. It's over torquing, but getting a fair flight. Uh, it's very close to competition there, the lead competition. So we'll see. I don't think it's quite there, but it's a good throw nonetheless. All right. The Mambas are now being represented. This is a 172 Mamba. It is a heavy little sucker. And sometimes these get the job done. Here we go. 172 Mamba. Here we go. Uh, over torque, but that's going to roll. That's going to roll. And it is rolling effectively, but I'm not sure it's uh, 
going to be in the lead. I think it's much short of the leader, but it rolled pretty well. Uh, okay, we got a Boss 151, and this disc has been constantly over the months. This particular disc has always been in the hunt for the long throw. It's always there. It's always there. Um, I tend to be going and uh, over torquing these a bit. I don't know why I'm doing that, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to account for that now. Boss. Okay. Well, I got into that one. I got into that one well enough. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know if it's a record there. I don't know if it's uh, in first place, but it's very close. We got another Mamba represented here. A 170 this time, which I'm a little bit more fond of. Uh, this is the one I pulled out of a sewer grate. I had to make a long thing to get it out of the sewer. It was really crazy. Uh, I was walking over a sewer and I said, I better not drop my disc. Oops, and dropped it right into it like an idiot. I don't know what I was thinking of there. All right, here we go. 170 Mamba. Here we go. Okay, that's a pretty good throw. Wow, that thing is up there. Okay, it fell short of the uh, owls. It went too high, so it worked its way back. It got up there pretty high. This is another Colossus. And this is a 14.5 minus a 1 and a 3 fade. So we're going to give it a whirl. This is a very heavy disc. This feels like a 175 to me or more, so it's gonna wear my arm out. Here we go. Colossus. Oh my, holy cow, did I get into that one? Well, I got into it. Um, I don't know, It's. it looks like a pretty good throw. That's all I got to say, it looks like a pretty good throw. Now, this is a new disc. The Roadrunner is going to be represented here. This is a 156 Roadrunner. Uh, I was going to send this to my son, but it's a little heavy. So I'm going to keep him at under 150, 150 or below. So I have a 150. I'm going to send him. That means this one's mine. And uh, the next uh, discs, which I don't want to buy right now because I got enough of them, uh, are, are going to be a few Roadrunners, which are $12. They're expensive. So here we go. Let's see if we can't make sense out of this only nine speed uh, Roadrunner, which goes to the right, generally speaking. Here we go. Uh, I threw it just right. See it curving to the right? That could have something to say here, folks. Oh, I don't know. Came back a little bit, but it's there in the hunt. I'm not sure it has enough to take it. We got a 154 fire uh, bird. Uh, again, in lighter weights, you have to hyzer the shit out of these things. At this weight, I found that you don't have to hyzer them that much. Um, they are supposed to go to the right. Here we go. We are going to try to get something going here. Let's see if we can't make the Firebird the new leader. 154 Firebird. Here we go. Uh, it, uh, it's going to turn off. Uh, well short of the owls, so no threat there. Okay, we got a 113 Firebird. The reason I put this out here is because people do not understand how far you can throw this little 113. You got to really hyzer it like this, but uh, they get up and they go. Uh, this disc, you can almost throw it 300 feet. Here we go. You see, you got to hyzer it. And that's heading toward the tree. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but uh, well short, 40 feet or more short of the tree. But still, that's probably 255 to 265 feet for a little 113. That isn't bad, I will tell you. All right, this is here is a pig here. It's not a pig disc. I know that Innova makes a pig. Uh, this is a, a destroyer. I've got a couple in my car right now in lower weights. Because this one, I've never been able to make sense out of it. Uh, it's too heavy. It's a 173. And uh, I got this for free on an F2 Friday. But uh, I cannot make sense out of it because it is just too heavy. 
but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get this to go up and to the right and see if I can't make sense out of this. I've never been able to do so before at a plus 300 foot shot. I've been able to get this around 280, maybe on my best throws, 285, 290. Here we go. Here we go. That's probably about the best I'm going to be able to ever throw this. Uh, and it's short, as you can see, of the owls, and no threat to anything. So that's done. We now have a 159 turn. These are capable, and this one I've gotten some long, long flights. Um, the turn is an 11 speed, but the pro that I'm gonna order next, those are 12. So they're 12, I think they're 12.6, but I mean, they may be 12.5, I don't know. So here we go, and uh, we're gonna hit it here. Oh, we got wind coming in, that's why I'm not getting real good throws. The wind is coming directly in now, so. Um, don't expect uh, long mammoth throws. I don't think it's going to happen now. We've got uh, pretty good wind coming in. Uh, that's about as good as you can ever throw that disc. It is going pretty good. And uh, it's uh, there within the leaders. So um, that's another one there that's going to uh, have to you know, figure out what if it's going to be in the lead or not. Uh, we've got a 167 Thunderbird here, I believe. No, this is a Katana. So the Katana is represented a couple times here in this grouping of 26. Here we go. Uh, this is a new disc. I haven't thrown this one yet, but my son won't be getting this. It's too heavy. A 167 Katana. I have figured this out before, and I will do so again. Here we go. And I am off. 167 Katana. Uh, it's a good throw if it stays up. Good job. Uh, all right, well, it, it, believe it or not, even with that low throw, it was there. It was there. Okay, we've got a uh, Valkyrie. This is that one I wanted to send my son, but because it's got all this kind of, you know, stuff that the kids like, but uh, with the guy with the wings on it and stuff. But um, as far as I could tell, it's... Uh, not the way to go. I have to be careful because my discs are in danger. I think I've got a couple over there and I don't want them grabbed. Just have to keep keep an eye out here. And as soon as he makes his next throw, I will go. But I think I've got a disc out over there by the basket unless somebody took it on me, which will be a bummer. I'm quite sure. Okay, I've got the distance to go now. I've got the clearance. We got a Valkyrie, and this is a 169 Valkyrie. It is a very heavy Valkyrie. Here we go. Uh, a pretty good throw if it stays up. Pretty good if it stays up. Uh, it's there with the leaders, but I don't think it's in the lead. Okay, we've got four more discs, folks. We've got a 169 Ape. 169 Ape, I tend to be overpowering these uh, to the right, so I'm doing the best I can, but uh, that seems to be the game today. Here we go, 169 Ape. Here we go. Uh, pretty good throw, it's drifting to the right, but it's going away, that's way, way up there. Holy shit, it's in the tree. And now it just dropped. Did you see that one? That thing was as high as the tree. I hope you saw that. Holy shit. That thing was way, way up in that tree. Man. And it was moving this way with the wind. Man alive. That was the biggest throw with wings I have ever seen. That thing took no prisoners. Holy cow. That thing would have went in the swamp.
All right, maybe it's good they got caught up in the tree. Man, that thing was moving and at a very tall. Okay, we got a queen here, west side discs. This is a heavy disc. It is 174 grams, I believe it said on here. Uh, it is a heavy one. Uh, you got to get it just right. If you don't, you're toast with these things. But this is a 14.5, uh, so it can hover. Uh, it's a more than moderate hover or glide. Here we go. Queen. Uh, pretty good throw, but again, uh, yeah, it rolled maybe a meter, but I keep uh, these keep uh, going to the right on an over torque. So I have a feeling I'm going to lose one of my discs because I think I had one of my discs over there by that basket, and I think they took it. That would be my guess. I may be wrong, but I think I did. Uh, this is a, uh, what is this? This is a Valkyrie, it looks like. And uh, I can't see the numbers, but it's not super heavy. Maybe 158 Valkyrie. Let's see if we can't uh, make this Valkyrie do some numbers here. Here we go. Valkyrie. Uh, that's a pretty good throw. It's hovering, it's going. And it's, it's well short of the tree. Uh, well short of the tree. So we're on our last disc now. This is a 167 ape. And I'm sure that I will not recover 26 discs. I'm sure that will, or 27 I think, is what I had because I added one more. So I'm sure I won't get 27 discs back. Um, it's part of the game when you have to throw. These discs go so far and there's only so many places you can do it safely. Fortunately, this is safe unless you really hook one and go into the swamp, which that one probably would have. That fucker, that thing was over the tree. That thing was at the height of the tree. I hope you saw it. I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. Uh, last one, 167 Ape. Here we go. Looking for big numbers out of this one. I want it to take it all. Here we go. 167 Ape. Okay, I threw it pretty good, but it's dropping like a rock. Uh, and it's there near the lead. So we're going to go right straight. Uh, I can't wait uh, if, to see if that can.